Well, I had several jobs. One of my jobs was that of analyst. Uh, I also was an interrogator and indeed briefed the press when we, the CIA, wanted to uh, circulate disinformation on a particular issue. Disinformation is not necessarily, uh, not necessarily a lie. It may be a half-truth. And uh, we would pick out a journalist. I would go do the briefing and uh, hope that he would put the information in print. Uh, we would uh, go after these gentlemen. Uh, I would uh, be directed to cultivate them, to spend time with them, to socialize with them, and, and slowly but surely to try to gain their confidence by dolloping out uh, valid information, information which was true. And then I would drop in a, into a conversation the data that we wanted to get across which might not be true. We were interested in targeting those reporters who could get their material in the New York Times, the Los Angeles Times, and so forth. And um, once again, I want to make it perfectly uh, uh, clear that we were not hiring these reporters. They were not operating as our spies or as our dupes. But in a war situation, when there are so few sources of information, uh, a reporter may rely on a CIA contact and he becomes vulnerable. If I planted a piece of information with a reporter, I would ordinarily then try to create an environment in which he could not check the information. Mm -hmm. I would go to the British ambassador and brief him on the disinformation I had just given the reporter. So when the reporter wanted to cross-check what I told him with, uh, say, the British ambassador, New Zealand ambassador, or what have you, he would get false confirmation, the same message coming back at him. He'd say, aha! I've got proof that Frank Snap told me the truth, when in fact what he'd gotten was simply an echo of what uh, I'd given him in the first place via the British ambassador or other of our friendly diplomatic contacts.